What did I just read? What is this? Eight wannabes? On our turf? Trying to steal our act? <laughs> yeah, these were a little different than the turtles I'm used to. Expecting maybe uh, the Adams family? They're back. What's going on here? It's the turtles giving the old foot soldiers the boot with their latest invention, the cheapskate. Whoa. Excellent! I'm okay. So. I finally read the first 10 issues of the Ninja Turtle Mirage line of comics. Yep, the ones that started it all. And it really threw me for a loop. Pacing was fast and quick, story jumps from place to place, but it's good in an unhinged creative kind of way. But why do you care? I mean, well, for some context, I'm a big Ninja Turtle fan. Beyond any franchise or cartoons, the turtles speak to me and a generation of kids on another level. I had the figures, I owned the VHS copies which I watched on repeat, and happy to say I still have them to this day. They don't have the cardboard box covers because I wore them down from constant rewatch, but you get my point in all this. I'm a huge Turtle fan, and honestly, I think it's weird to say that I never really took too much time to read the Mirage comics. I read some of the IDW comics and some of the Last Ronin, but I was almost too scared to read the Mirage comics because I almost wasn't sure if I was going to like it. See, there is something you need to understand for the most part. A lot of what we know about the Turtles have been heavily influenced by the animated series, including the humor and the characterization, which were really set into place during the course of the development of the live action movies and the animated series. But the original comic, the core idea behind the franchise was a bit different. I think for the most part, comics and long running series, the first 10 issues or episodes can tell you a lot and can be the make or break for most viewers. For instance, in some anime, you might hear someone tell you to give the series 10 episodes to see if you're gonna like it or not. Punch! Kai! Bleach is a victim of this because it spends a lot of early time developing Ichigo's personality and power set, but not much else. Ichigo in this instance becomes a soul reaper, but his motives, other than basic monster of the week storytelling, really didn't develop until after about 10 episodes. But when you get past that, it has some of the strongest storytelling I've seen in anime. In the case of Ninja Turtles, it was opposite for me in terms of seeing the more well-developed stories first and then coming back to seeing the beginnings. I read the issues and I wanted to read more, but for the sake of the video, I stopped myself to really dig deep into these first initial stories. First things first. The similarities, and I start with this because we need to understand just how different the story was from what came after. We still have Splinter, the four turtles, they all have the same names we're all used to, and they were mutated by a lost canister of ooze from the TCR company. The first issue is packed with story and moves really fast from one point to another, a trend you'll notice in a lot of these issues in comparison to how some slow paced comics we see now. But that was by design because the creators Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman only printed 3000 copies to be released in May of 1984. Entire thing and borrowed some money from Kevin's uncle and uh, took whatever money we had ourselves, which wasn't a whole lot, and managed to scrape that all together and print 3,000 copies. If you read the first issue, it was pretty much a closed story. Laird and Eastman wrote it this way because the reality was that they weren't sure that they would have a chance at another issue. So reading this, you see everything from the influences of Daredevil and the grittiness of that period with the hand from the daredevil now being the evil foot clan to the mentor stick now being their mentor splinter the radioactive ooze mutating the turtles empowering them like daredevil himself all these elements were introduced fast including how the turtles came to be the feud with splinter and shredder all ending in a climactic fight where the turtles kill shredder i am often asked why did you kill your main villain off in the first issue that doesn't make a whole lot of sense and the reason is that we never really thought we'd be doing a second one the thing that didn't surprise me because i've heard others tell me the same thing before but still caught me off guard was definitely the violence and the mature themes now i'm not against violence or anything in movies and comics i love a good action film but seeing the turtles literally cut up their enemies use guns kill shredder and drink some beers really didn't mesh with what I was used to thinking of the turtles, but conversely, I think it really works. 
it had all these different ridiculous kind of ideas that meshed well together. The following issues introduced Baxter Stockman, April O'Neil, and Casey Jones, figures that have appeared consistently in the cartoons and other areas including the Mausers, who've become iconic in their own way for Turtles fans. <laughs> These security measures are pitiful. An insult. Nothing can stand in the way of my consummate genius. Thanks for watching the video so far. If you guys like what you're seeing, hit that like button. If you don't want to miss out on my next video, subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell. But for now, let's get back to it. At this point, at the end of issue 3, I'm like, bet, this is a pretty awesome story so far. And then around issue 4 and 5, they go to space and I'm like, wait. This is something you see in like issue 15 to 20 of another story. All within the first few issues. We went from a revenge mission on Shredder to his death, the destruction of their home by the Mausers, separation from Splinter, finding out about their origins in the TCR building, to be transported off world to a planet light years away in another galaxy. There's the gladiator fights, they meet the Fugitoid and the Triceratons, and just as they get back to New York from their crazy galaxy-wide adventure, they meet Renee, an, an apprentice time sorceress who steals the Time Scepter from her master. She then uses it to go to New York City, where she meets the Turtles, and then her master catches up with her, and she transports herself and the Turtle to the past where they encounter the vicious, demonic Savanti Romero, and have a crazy time-traveling adventure. And then they finally get back to New York City, where we learn that Shredder survived. A lot of stuff happens. The foot attack the turtles in April's building and burn it down. The turtles escape to the countryside with Casey and April, and that's where the issue ends. It's a lot. And a side note, if you remember the plot of the first movie, you can see a lot of the elements and story points that were borrowed and a lot of stuff that was left behind. Some of these story points weren't really adapted until the 2003 anime series where you saw the Fugitoids, the Triceratons, and even the Utrams. I was genuinely surprised by how much was packed into these early issues, but when you understand the fact that these were indie comics, it was understandable that they wanted to get as many ideas as they could onto the page in case the expansion of the brand and franchise didn't pan out like it did. I'm definitely going to continue reading the series. It'll be interesting to see how the rest of the series differs in terms of storytelling from what we're used to seeing the movies and television series. The violence and gritty feeling is great and it feeds a need for a more mature Ninja Turtle story that older fans like myself want to see. What do you guys think? Are you all in on the old school Mirage Ninja Turtles or you prefer the more family friendly turtles you're used to? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, take care and have an awesome day. And if you need something else to watch, click this one right here. I'm pretty sure you'll like that one. What the? Y'all some little tortoises, huh? I can't believe there are other mutants. You want to roll with us?